My name's Sam, and I've been making these My Year films documenting my journey for over five years now. And what started as a joke, 1.4 million views later, these videos have, in a way, become a journal of my life. I want to share with you some of my biggest lessons that will maybe help inspire some of you to chase after your dream and explain how I went from a kid with a GoPro to a full-time travel filmmaker. But to really understand what I do, first we have to look back. At the beginning of the year, I got the incredible opportunity to travel to the Arctic Circle. This was my first ever project with Canon USA, and I got to shoot it with some of my best friends. The project was called Eye of the Storm, and we premiered it live in LA in front of 200 people. Then I took off to Utah to make a film about my close friend, Erica. It was one of those projects that we kind of just threw together last minute, but I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. After Utah, I went to Hawaii to make a film in only 36 hours about Maddie and Tara. And then for the first time in over 10 years, I got to go on a trip with my family. And it was one of the most meaningful things I did all year. It was around that time where I met this girl someone who I don't really talk about on this channel, but has changed my life so much for the better. And as always, we made a few music videos. We sold a couple turtlenecks and everybody creamed so hard. And that's when things really picked up. I got the opportunity to shoot with this guy, Aaron Brimhall, a photographer I've looked up to for so long. We then released the footage and had over a thousand people enter our editing contest. Then we flew out to Iceland to make a film with my friend Jay Ford. This was my second film ever with Canon USA, and we got to premiere this one live in San Diego in front of 200 people. There really is no better feeling than bringing this entire community together in real life. Then I got the opportunity to be a part of the R6 Mark II launch campaign, and somehow I convinced Canon to let me bring four of my closest friends to help make the film. And while I was there, I got what I think might be the coolest drone crash ever. Speaking of drone crashes, I finally got the opportunity to work with DJI, which ended exactly how you would think. And then Artlist invited me out to speak for Google, which I still can't wrap my mind around. Try to have those real connections with your creators and do that over a long period of time, and then you'll be at a Google talk one day, so. Yeah. And that's when everything changed forever. I got the opportunity of a lifetime to have my work featured on a billboard in Times Square. It's one of those moments in my life that I still can't really put into words. And then I went to a place I've always dreamed of. I flew out to Patagonia to make a project about my buddy Chris. I got to screen that project in front of 350 people here in LA. It was easily one of the best nights of my life. If you wanna make a living creating videos you love, this is what you do. Grab a friend or two or three and go make something. Go make something that you wanna make, go make something that you are inspired to make and most importantly, never, ever, ever let someone tell you that your story isn't worth sharing. So let's enjoy some videos. It's gonna be a great night and I appreciate all of you for coming out. I always try to talk about creating things that you love, and that's exactly why I make these. I make these videos as a reminder that in a world full of bots and algorithms and AI, a world that I feel like is losing a lot of human connection, the one thing that you have that no one can take away from you is your story. Hey guys, it's Sam Newton. Um, leave your comfort zone, do stuff you haven't done before start rapping or something. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. My name's Sam. You can like my page and stay up to date on all my videos. So every share, every comment, every like means the world to me. <laughs> that I'm gonna be going full time into YouTube. I am officially a Canon USA ambassador, which is crazy to say out loud. Um, <laughs> oh, you have amazing stuff. Look at that call. Bro, why did you just... <laughs> Mom! I am a full-time travel filmmaker with Artlist. They found me pretty early in the game and I've been working closely with them over the last three years and I'm honored to be here. It's crazy. 
It's nuts, all the way from LA. So thank you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> You see, I truly believe the reason I've gotten to this point in my career isn't because I'm the best filmmaker. There was a lot of luck, a lot of people that helped push me forward, and a whole lot of late nights spent working on this crazy dream of mine. But more than anything, I think I've gotten to this point because one day, I decided to turn the camera around. They're so sweet. <laughs> oh, life is good. And share my story with the world. Mom. <laughs> and I know it can be cringy and cliche, but if I can convince just a few people to go after what they really want in life, ah! then that to me makes it all worth it. Which makes me think of what my message would be to that kid who picked up a camera for the first time 10 years ago. So when I look back at everything that happened in 2022, there was one event that impacted me more than anything else. At the beginning of the year, we lost a friend of mine. His name was Josh Newman, and <laughs> he was just one of those people that lit up every single room he ever walked into. I would watch Josh's videos and they would make me feel so alive. And I remember the first time I met him, he told me he didn't think he deserved the success he had which I thought was crazy because of how much his videos impacted me. But I never told him that. And above all, Josh should be a reminder that no matter how big or small, everything you do has an impact on someone. Which brings me back to my message to my 18 year old self who stole his dad's GoPro to make films with his friends, hoping one day that he could take that camera around the world which isn't really my message at all. It's a message from Josh. Live a good story. I think it's something we all need to hear. Because if you want a life that brings you purpose, you have to do everything in your power to live a life true to who you are and surround yourself with people that fuel that crazy dream of yours. Because no matter what people say, no matter what people think, I can promise you this, your story will impact so many more people than you can ever begin to imagine. <laughs> so whether you've been creating for 10 years or you're just starting to figure it all out, Grab a friend and go make something that you love. And never let someone tell you that your story isn't worth sharing. Because I can promise you this, you can never know the impact that your story will have on someone else. Oh, wow. Nothing like dropping uh, your end of year recap in May, but I appreciate you guys making it all the way to the end, as always. This year, I want to do something just a little bit different. Whether you had known Josh's story before this video or this is your first time ever hearing his message, I want to do something to help keep it alive. So with the help of the sponsor of this video, my friends over at Artlist, I am personally going to be donating $2,000 to the Josh Newman Foundation, which is essentially a foundation that was set up to honor Josh's life and continue his charitable efforts that he started when he was alive. You can learn all about the foundation down below, but what I wanna do is basically this. In this video, there is going to be a fundraiser. So my goal is to match that $2,000 on your end so we can donate $4,000 to the Josh Newman Foundation. And we can do that by three different ways here. One, you can just donate using the link that's attached to this video. Two, you can grab a skateboard, which 100% of the proceeds 
go to the Josh Newman Foundation. And three, you can get an Artlist account because I will be donating 100% of my affiliate sales to the Josh Newman Foundation from this video. So if you are ever interested in getting an Artlist account, this is the perfect opportunity. Artlist has supported me for well over three years now and every single video you've ever seen on my channel has Artlist music, Artlist sound effects, and it's pretty mind blowing to me that I haven't run out of just really good powerful music that makes an impact on my audience, mostly because Artlist's library is insanely big. And on top of that, it's just an easy platform to navigate, and it takes a lot of the pain out of finding music, because it's real music that moves your audience in a way that no other site has. And all with the best prices. They have different plans for different creators at different tiers, so you basically only pay for what you really want to get out of it, whether it's just social media or commercial. They got so many different licenses and so many different options for you to just get genuine music that hopefully moves you the same way that I would hope that this video did. So thank you Artlist for supporting me and this channel and helping me support the Josh Newman Foundation. And lastly, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video and for being a part of my story. If you did, just leave a comment, say live a good story in the comment section so we can honor Josh's life just a little bit more. And if you are feeling generous, please consider donating to the Josh Newman Foundation down below. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Live a good story and stay creamy.